Hello everyone, welcome back. Download file from UCM using web services. We can download a file from UCM using REST APIs and also using SOAP services. So in this video, I'll show you how to download a file from UCM using SOAP services. In the next video, I will show you how to download using REST API, okay? So SOAP services. We have two SOAP services to download a file from UCM. One is generic SOAP port and the other one is ERP integration service. When you want to try from your instance, you just need to update this uh, host details and also port details. And here, in here also same, you need to update the host and port details and you can try from your instance. The remaining URL will be same. I'll also provide these visitor URLs in this video description. Let's try these two services from the SOAP UI. So this is generic SOAP port. I just loaded into SOAP UI. So this is the request that we need to send to the service. But initial request, let me open this too. <clears throat> so here, we just need to provide a field name and the value. So we need to format this request message. So in this format, we need to, you know, format that request message. So here we need to provide the field name. And before that, we'll just observe this web key should be CS, okay? And IDC service, when you are going to download a file, you need to give get underscore file. When you are going to delete a file, you need to give delete underscore file. When you want to upload, you need to give upload underscore file. Okay, so we can get the more details from the documentation. We'll also provide the documentation details in the description. So doc name, we need to give this file doc, file uh, document name from the UCM and revision selection method should be latest so that you can get the latest document from UCM and rendition is a primary, okay? And you need to provide the authentication details here, basic authentication details in this section. So let me trigger this service. It is triggered and you can see the status details in the header is HTTP 200, okay. Means we got the success response. And if you click on the attachment, you can see one attachment here. So we have the one attachment. And this, this is where we can see the document details, okay. These are the document details, document ID, service, and document extension. This is a file name. Okay, so these are the document details. And if you want to download this attachment, you need, just need to click on that. And you need to give extension as XSL. And uh, it's giving like test file saving into the desktop. So this is the file that I have just downloaded using web service. So this is a generic SOAP port service. So let us now look into the ERP integration service. So I also loaded this, that service into the SOAP API. So we need to go to get document by document ID. Just click on this. See here, here we just need to provide document ID. Okay. When you have a document ID, you need to go with ERP integration service. When you don't have a document ID, you can go with generic SOAP service. See, let me open this again. See here, 1672520. I'm trying to download same document from, but here I'm giving document name, revision history and all. So when you have a document name, I mean UCM name, then you can go with a generic SOAP port. But when you have a document ID, you, you can go with a ERP integration service. So I'll be downloading same file using 
ERP integration service using get document for document ID. Okay, here just I'm giving a document ID and you need to provide a basic authentication details here and just click on the run button. It just triggered and you can see 200 OK is the status and we have an attachment. Okay, so let me open, let me open the response details. See here, test underscore zone and you know, the test underscore zone dot XSL. So this is the same file that I've just downloaded. Okay, so these are the two services that we can use to download a file from UCM. And uh, so here you can see the documentation. The first URL is for the generic support documentation and the second one is for the ERP integration service documentation. I'll provide these visitor details and also these documentation details in this video description so you can get from there. In the next video, I will show you how to download a file using this API. Okay. Thank you guys and good luck.